going on everybody uh december 31st new year's eve um kind of a generic nba slate uh you know it being sunday and all only taking a look at the main slate so the uh five game slate um four games at seven o'clock and then one at eight but let's just dive into it i'm a little late getting this out went out last night had a couple cocktails didn't get the day started uh, as quickly as i would have liked so let's dive in first game up rockets and lakers um rockets 121.25 implied total it's uh by far first on the day um so let's take a peek so this is gonna be interesting Big game for Capella if he's playing. Definitely like him. And I think that Harden uh, looks pretty good too. So Harden is 11,000 on FanDuel. 11,7 on DK. Good googly moogly. Whew, that's so expensive. Um, but I mean, no KCP. There's just no one on the Lakers that can stop him. Capella is 7,800 on FanDuel, 6,500 on DK. I think this is a, a big click Capella game, so long as he plays. I don't know. Eric Gordon's probably a little too expensive right now with Chris Paul back. So I don't, that's not necessarily a direction I want to go. Paul, though, 8,900 on FanDuel, 87 on DK. So he needs like 45 plus. I know it's a really good matchup for him. Uh, I just don't totally trust it yet. I still want to see him, you know. It's hard to tell when he's going to push himself. Yeah, I think I'm just going to say Harden and Capella for tonight. Well, go to the Lakers now. Lakers, 106.25 implied total, which would be fifth on the day. Um, obviously, no Lonzo, no KCP, um, no Brooke Lopez. Just not a lot out there. Although, if they're going to play Julius Randle big minutes, um, you almost have to play him. So we want to look at Kuzma, I guess, Clarkson and Hart are just going to be plays because of uh, the short lineups. So let's say Kuzma is 6,500 on FanDuel, 71 on DK. Um, I'm fine with that. Jordan Clarkson, 7,200 on FanDuel, 65. How is Jordan Clarkson more expensive than Kyle Kuzma on FanDuel? What sense does that make? 6,500 on DK. Yeah, I mean, it's hard to avoid it. Just because of the minutes. I don't think I would take him on FanDuel, though. He needs 35. Yeah, I guess I would. If he's going to play 30 minutes, 30 plus minutes. And then Julius Randle, no brainer for me. 5,900 on FanDuel um, is a little steep, but 5,100 on DK is just an awesome, awesome price. And then Josh Hart, 3,900 on FanDuel. I mean, full stop, you got to play him there. Uh, he's just too cheap. He's a little bit more pricey on DK, but you need to have a little bit of him at least. It's a lot of Lakers. Whew. I'm okay with it, though. I think I probably like Randall the most out of anybody on DK. And then Kuzma, probably, if I had to 
prioritize those Lakers guys. All right, next up, it's uh, Clippers hosting the Hornets. Um, Clippers 107.5 implied total, which is fourth on the night. <sighs> Could be interesting. Yeah, the Hornet, even though I'm wearing a Hornets hat right now, they're just so not fun to watch. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna take a, a nice peek at Blake. I don't want any part of DeAndre. And I'll look at Taya Dosich. So Blake, 8,500 on FanDuel, uh, 7,600 on DK. I'm 100% in here. I think that's a pretty good spot for Blake. Um, Lou Williams strikes me as a little expensive, but let me think about it here. Needs like 36 for value. A couple big games there without Blake. Oh, I don't think I like it. Maybe I should though. Man, that's a tricky one. It doesn't jump off the page for me, but the numbers are telling me that I need to take a closer look at it. I don't think he gets that. I, I, I don't like it. Let's look at Taya Dosich on DK is 5,100, which is just an awesome price. Um, kind of have to take him. I think he is a better play with have like with Blake being healthy. Uh, what did I spell that wrong? Oh, cool. That's it for me on the Clippers. To the Hornets now. Uh, 105.25 implied total. I, I mean, it's the Hornets. They're just, they're like white bread. Chicken soup. Very bland, plain. What the hell did I do there? That's a new one. That's a new paste. That's That's got to be a shot. There we go. Okay. Turns out we're going to like the Clippers. Or, turns out we're going to like the Hornets a little bit. Batum... MKG, maybe Kemba. This is going to be a crazier night than I expected. I thought it was going to be shit. But either this is just a hangover or I'm seeing things I like. Okay, I don't want Dwight, although 7,400 on DK is kind of interesting. Kemba, 7,700 on FanDuel, 7,200 on DK. Can he get to 40? No defense on the other side. Put up 43 in the last one. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking way too many people here. I, I can't just type Kemba. Obviously, it's not going to figure out that it needs to finish that. Oh, I'm not running on, uh, I'm running on fumes right now. Batum, 6,300 on FanDuel, 5,500 on DK. I think it's a good matchup for him. Um, you know, can, does he get to 30, which he's done twice in the last seven, a couple 25 or hires. I'll take that. And then MKG, 48 and 41. Can you get to 25? I mean, he certainly can't. It's, a, it's such a good matchup. His minutes have been a little weird lately, though. I only have him for 26. I'll skip. 
skip MKG for now. We'll see if he pops up a little bit later. Okay, uh, next up, Oklahoma City Thunder hosting the Mavs. Uh, Thunder 104 implied total, which is seventh. These next two games are uh, pretty dreadful, although the Thunder are interesting. Obviously, no Paul George, no uh, Andre Robertson. So there's minutes to be had. Oh, got to crack the shoulders. They're tight. Okay. Um, not the best game for Russ, but no Paul George. I mean, he's just going to go bonkers. He, great game for Mello, though. I'm going to be all over that. Most people will be. And I don't see it for Adam, so it's basically just a two-man race here. And I'm going to want them both, I think. <clears throat> Russ, 11-9 on FanDuel, 11-6 on DK. But no Paul George, it's just... He's always in play, and, you know, it's Dallas point guard defense, so not worried. 5,900 for Mello on FanDuel, 63 on DK. That's kind of a bummer. I think it's interesting that Fantasy Cruncher doesn't like him, but I do a lot. I'm going to end up having a lot of Mello, I think. Price is a little prohibitive on DK, but nothing too crazy. Uh, to the Mavs now, 98 point implied total. It was ninth. I just want the Mavs to be better. What are they projected for in Tankathon? Fifth. Interesting. Oh, Bamba. Hmm. Can you imagine if the Cavs win the lottery? Or if the Celtics win the lottery? <sighs> Crazy. Sorry, I just want to see who the Mavs get. Oh, jump up and get Doncic. Interesting. Not if it matters. Okay. Mavs. Got off track there. Uh, look, man, even this is good matchups. It's a decent Wes Matthews matchup. It's a decent Dirk matchup. It's a decent everybody but Harrison Barnes. But I don't want a ton of this because obviously the Mavs suck. Um, okay, no Barnes. Dirk, 54 and 53. Going to get a steady diet of Mellow. I would entertain Dirk in this case. And then Wes Matthews is 48 and 45. I'll pass there. I don't really like Dennis Smith all that much. Maybe I should. It's not like Russ is going to guard him. What's he been doing lately? Can he get to 20? How easily does he get to 25? 44 in the last one. A bunch of shit games before that. So I'm going to continue to not like him. I think it's just Dirk for me. Everything else seems like I'm forcing it. Now, the real dreadful game on the, on the slate. Revenge game for Zebo, I guess. Kings hosting the Grizzlies. 98.25 implied total, which is 8th. I don't... They should just cancel this game. Why would anyone want to... Like, who will watch this? Or, there are people out there that will be like, can't go out for New Year's tonight. Gotta watch Sacramento and Memphis play. What am I doing? Yeah, yeah. Like, that's just... That's an atrocious game. Alrighty, Kings, Kings, Kings. Oh, everybody looks terrible. Okay. Um.
I don't think I'm going to end up taking anything here. Maybe Bogdan. That might be it. Okay, so Willie Cauley Stein is not something I'm interested in. Uh, Zebo, I guess, is okay on FanDuel at 5,700, but he's been playing less minutes. I don't really have a ton of interest in George Hill, although 47 on DK. Um, it's not bad. I mean, he can he can provide value on that number. I think I'd be silly to not at least ex explore the idea of George Hill. Then Bogdan, 49 and 46. Um, he's the only other thing I would like. If I had very, very little amounts of any of these guys. I don't trust the team. And, you know, like somebody's going to have a good game, obviously. Or at least they should. But, I mean, you can't, it's a hard thing to bank on. To the Grizzlies now, uh, 95.75 implied total, dead last, surprise, surprise, uh, Parsons should be playing, it's actually a decent Parsons game, I don't think this is a Marc Gasol game, so yeah, look at all that awful color. Tyreek, 86 on FanDuel, 79 on DK. Yeah, I mean, okay. He needs like 40-something plus. He had 40 last night. Three straight 40 points. Well, I mean, if we're being serious here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of his last 7, 40 or higher, including a 62-point game. So I'll ride that hot hand a little bit. That's it. I don't want anything else on that atrocious squad. Last game. Um, fun from a fantasy perspective, I guess. The Phoenix Suns hosting the Philadelphia 76ers. 108.75 implied total for the Suns, which is uh, third on the night, actually. Uh, Embiid should be playing, so that makes uh, half of the Sixers not interesting such a weird team in that like Embiid is obviously a good play on most nights and then when he doesn't play you automatically start rolling out like Rashawn Holmes Trevor Booker type dudes just easy to do okay so we're gonna like Booker we'll take a peek at TJ Warren I don't want any Marquise Chris and I'll explore Tyler Ulis. So Booker, 7,800 on FanDuel, uh, 8,600 on DK. That is prohibitively expensive. So Devin Booker for me is FanDuel only. Uh, TJ Warren on the other hand, 7,600 on FanDuel, 6,700 on DK. I think that I would only take TJ Warren on DraftKings. So interesting. Len. Um, you know, he could have a big game. That's not necessarily my spot for him. If you need a punt, I think Ulis could be someone that could have a big game. Um, he lives in the mid range, and, you know, they are the Sixers give up a ton of mid range buckets, so Ulis could see some space there. And,. He doesn't really get to the rim at all, so having Embiid in the paint isn't as big of a deterrent for him as it would be for some other people. So, um, you know, obviously it's Tyler Ulis, and he only plays like barely over 20 minutes a game, but he's someone that I wouldn't be surprised if I did a recap video uh, tomorrow morning, which obviously isn't happening on New Year's Day. Um He's someone that I could see having gone for like 9x, like 8 of 11 from, you know, the free throw line. I don't mean like free throws, but like just, you know, mid-range, like floater type shit. He could also put up six fantasy points. He's Tyler Ulis. If he were better, he'd play more. But like, 
I think a 24 or 25 point night is completely reasonable for him. It's a good matchup. Yeah. Not going to get a lot of people anywhere today recommending Tyler Eulis. I'm not saying you need to like load up on him, but I think he's an interesting bullet if you're throwing out a bunch of lineups. Final team to look at. Philadelphia 76ers. Sixers, 112.25 implied total. Second on the night. Um, I'm actually excited to look at this. Which is lame. <laughs> okay. So, love Simmons, love Redick. Well, don't love Redick. Love Simmons, love Embiid. That might be it. So Embiid, 10-5, FanDuel, 9.9, 9,900 9, on DK. I'm in for both. Ben Simmons, 8,700 on FanDuel, 8,900 on DK. That makes me nervous, but I love this matchup for him. Uh, on paper, he might be my favorite play of the day. I wish he was a little bit better of a value from a salary perspective, but I'm going to have a lot of Ben Simmons, but I might have to force it, which I don't really like doing, but I'm going to have to. Um, let's see. Okay. I don't like it for Saric or Redick. They just limit too many threes. I don't want Covington or Bayless. TJ McConnell, I guess I could take a look at. How many minutes did he play last night? 25. Okay, that's a little scary. I've got him at 26 tonight. 4,800 on FanDuel, 4,400 on DK. Um, I'm okay with a little bit of TJ McConnell. And that is it. Five games, very narrow slate. Um, that's a pretty sizable list, though. Only one small forward, which is, uh, you know, <laughs> not possible on FanDuel. Let me look at small forward just because. Is that real? Why does this, why does this look like shit? Um, all right, so if I needed to recommend another small forward on FanDuel, it would be Brandon Ingram. Why did I ignore him when I looked at the Rockets? <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I don't know why I over or like overlooked him. He must have really not stood out. Because you would think this would be a good Brandon Ingram game. Seven thousand on FanDuel. Sixty-four. Yeah. Not only do I like Brandon Ingram, but I like him a lot. <laughs> I don't know what I missed there. It's just. That's the hangover, guys. Booze will do it to you. So there you go. If you're going to play small forwards on FanDuel, only play TJ Warren and Brandon Ingram. MKG if you really need to throw a bullet. Let's do a quick optimization on DK and FanDuel, and then we will get out of here. Quick video today. No live before lock tonight. Um, that should not come as much of a surprise, but... It's New Year's Eve. I'm going to be uh, doing nothing, I hope, and just sitting around and watching TV. That's the that's the goal of New Year's. That's why I went out last night. Leave New Year's for the rookies. I'm a professional. Oh, son of a bitch. 
really uh, every time I do something over and over again and I forget to fix it it really just drives me insane so many macros I need to correct um, I gave the shout outs last night by the way in the live stream but I'd like to do it again just to catch up on everybody um, big 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 thanks to Kyle Davidson um, you know, a new patron Cam Forbes, Nick Lutzel, I think Epilogue Gaming I have i didn't shout out until uh, a live stream, Naked Iguana, Jeffrey Moss, Macho Man Randy Savage, Brian Durante. Oh, you told me what it was, and I think I said it wrong. Uh, now I'm not going to remember. But Alex, Brian Hamill, Jared Smith, Pablo Melendez, like, thank you all, like, all you guys. It's so awesome. Knocked over the PS4 controller. Okay. Change that to 5%. I don't know what's gonna come up here. Oh, I gotta remember to uh, change the slate too. It's a weird night. I don't know what's gonna pop up here. Okay. Clarkson, Felton, Kuzma, Felton, really. They're just trying to fit in whatever they can. Kapala, Teodosic, Saric, and Bede. Why is it trying to force feed those low salary guys? Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't like Marquise Chris, but like that's a fun lineup. Westbrook, Teodosic, Ingram, Randall, Capella, McConnell, Saric, Chris. Interesting. I won't have Saric, so. Man, it's going to take a little bit of massaging on DK. Let's check out FanDuel now. How is it 12.53 already? NFL games are about to kick off. Although, I guess, you know. I went to the grocery store. I made myself a quesadilla. It's been a good day. Okay, upload. Copy. I'm anxious to see who pops at small forward. It'll probably be, well, I guess I can, I can pretty much tell you exactly who it's gonna be. It'll be, Trevor Ariza, Brandon Ingram, maybe a little Bob Covington. Let's see here. Ariza and Covington. Josh Hustis, why is he? It's, something's broken. Weird. Why is he popping up like that? I guess just because of being minimum salary. I have to tweak him down a little bit. So, Russ, Dennis Smith, Harden, Josh Hart, Ariza, Hustis, Saric, Kuzma, Randall. I mean, most of that's good. You know, you won't use Hustis, you won't use Yogi Ferrell. I wouldn't want to do uh, this lineup, but like it looks good from uh, I don't know what perspective. Russ, Paul, Booker, Hart, Ariza, Tucker, Kuzma, Anthony, Randall. I w it wouldn't shock me if that won a GPP. It also wouldn't shock me if it played really poorly. Alrighty, guys, that's it. It's a quick one today. I don't have the energy for it, <laughs> and. Uh, you know, there's only five games. I'm not looking at the Wizards, Bulls, Pacers, Timberwolves, Celtics, and Nets. Um, so, yeah. You know, like, subscribe, Twitter, Reddit, the whole deal. I'll try to have the projections updated again um, before lock, but best of luck tonight.
be safe, everybody, if you're going out for New Year's. Um, and I'll uh, see you guys again in the morning. Bye-bye.